Hi everyone, I am Karen with the Walsh of Karen's Pots and Glass and I'm a high school ceramics teacher at Mason High School here in Mason, Ohio. So this video that I'm going to be doing today is a demonstration of how you can throw a one-piece jar with a lid that has an indentation for the flange. So if I show you this one, this is bisque fired. It was thrown like this, and then uh, I had to cut at the base of the flange there, and then it just drops right in and becomes a great little um, lidded pot. The opposite of that is also true where you could say, make the flange on the pot itself and the lid fits over. So I'm going to uh, show you a demo of a couple different ones. I'll show you how I trim it and uh, get those to fit. And I hope you enjoy this. Drop me any questions that you might have below in the comments. Please hit subscribe. And I hope you stay creative and keep potting if you can. All right, so I'm starting off by uh, just coning up and down my clay. I recommend this to my students to try to get their clay uh, dependably centered. They can always take their elbow and put it into their hip too. Um, that my beginners sometimes struggle with that. Now I am opening my uh, pop bottom to have a flat bottom and an interior corner that's a 90 degree angle. I'm not planning on really trimming much of a foot on this, but I want to throw it as a cylinder first. Before anything gets shaped, you just really want to think about making a narrow cylinder. Now I'm ribbing off some of my throwing texture there, and then I'm going to be closing off the top. Now the trick with closing off the top is bring it in just like a vase, but leave a little extra at the top that when you pull it together, you're pulling it right underneath the top edge. And then I have a little extra that I can make my knob out of. Now here I'm just making a straight side and uh, a little shoulder. Now I'm going to use that Kemper wooden tool, uh, WT7 I think is what that is, and I am bracing my hands and I'm going straight in with this. This makes a nice little um, kind of a sharp angle, a 90 degree angle there. So my wall uh, below and above that indentation, they are pretty much lining up. Um, it might need a little trimming later, but this indentation is the key thing. The indentation will be the flange that fits down into the pot later when we trim it, it's leather hard. Now, always cut your bottoms, kids, just like, you know, you're throwing anything, you wanna make sure that it can uh, shrink without being stuck. Now this next one, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just uh, coning it, then I make the hockey puck, I open it up, I throw the walls into the narrow cylinder. Don't get your top flare it out because if you flare it out it's hard to bring it back in so always keep it narrow. Now this one is going to have more of a belly to it so you can see I'm going more with that traditional bellied vase shape or form and there I'm just giving it a little bit more roundness with a rib and now I'm going to make a slight indentation. So what I'm doing here is making an indentation where the lid and the pot are going to kind of come together in a nice little curve and the, the um, flange, the indentation flange is going to be right under that indentation there. So this will help to line up the lid fitting down into the pot and because I kind of bring the top of the pot kind of like curl it back in to where the, the lid is going to be, this should fit. Um, I'm going to do another one uh, in a little bit where I don't bring in that back in and it's a problem. So because it kind of curves back in, then my flange is lining up. Now this is what you want to avoid. So this one, I make it far too wide of an angle when I go to um, make that flange with the lid because the lid and the pot bottom cannot meet up again. So you'll see here I'm bringing that in just like I did before but now this one 
where I'm going to place the lid. This is, it's going to be quite the angle. Now see how this one, it's in line. The lid and the pot bottom are in line. This one, it's almost in line. It's a little bit flared, but it's almost in line. Pardon the fact that it's not even left to right. This one, this is like the one that I did before where it kind of comes in and it goes back out. That's where the indentation in is. That one works. Now this last one, this is the one that doesn't work. It's too wide. So when I go to put the little indentation in there, the flange, it's just the bottom is going to be too wide to fit the top. And the top will actually just fall through. So you have to do some things sometimes. And you have to do them wrong to figure out why they're not working. So you can see right there, you can see how much wider the bottom is than the lid. I can tell right now that this is not going to work. So you learn, you learn from your mistakes. That's the key, right? So next, you want to get the pots leather hard. So once they're leather hard, um, I want to show you the trimming of them because you're going to cut the lid and you're going to trim it ever so slightly to make sure that the lid fits in the pot and it looks appropriate. Now this one, um, I'm cutting with my needle tool. I just hold that. Uh, um, I was trying to um, trim it without the Giffen grip, but here I decided to put it on the Giffen grip because it was moving on my bat. I thought maybe it was going to stay, but it wouldn't. So here we go. Now I'm going to try that again with the needle tool. And this one I did not show in the video. I had that thr thrown before I did the video. Okay. So I have to trim away a little bit on the interior of the opening because I want the flange to fit down in there. So I have some messy stuff. I want to clean that up. Now I'm flipping the lid upside down and I want to trim away some of the flange. So that's a much cleaner flange and it should go straight up and down because we want it to fit into the pot. There we go. Now that's fitting. And I'm going to do just a little tweaking on this. On the exterior, I'm taking off just a little bit more to bring that edge in ever so slightly. And I'll have to take off the Giffen Grip to flip it to get my foot ring on the bottom. So um, you can certainly do a foot ring. It depends on how you throw your bottom, but I'm just gonna take my rubber rib smooth that out, make sure that that lid looks pretty good. I'm just trimming away a little bit more. And there we go. You can see that that's got a nice continuous um, angle from the lid to the pot. This one was a straight one. And I again, I cut it with the needle tool. Now I'm going to trim up that flange to make sure that it'll fit in there, make it tidy. I'm going to trim the interior edge of this because usually have a little extra clay on the inside there. So I want to get that fitting real nicely and have a nice smooth edge. There we go. Now the last thing that I want to do is I'm going to trim from the outside. So if you look at this closely, see how the outside bottom is sticking out just a little farther than the lid. So this is where I need to tweak this a little bit. I'm going to trim a little bit off of the upper edge of the base. And as I do that, I just want to kind of trim it, get it looking good, make sure that I'm not thinning out the upper edge too much, use a little rib, smooth, maybe a little bit of water if need to. And then here I'm just trimming up the pot bottom, make it look a little bit neater and tidier. And oh, I'm doing the sides there a little bit too, and I'm going to take my kidney rib over that. They, these are the mud tool ribs. really like those. Okay. Now this is looking much better. Looks more precise. The um, angles are matching. Now this is the one where it curved back in. So this guy has a little bit more of a challenging curve because it kind of has to curve in and it curves back out. So there, we're going to go ahead and trim that first with the needle tool. And notice how I kind of hold that knob between my fingers. It helps to maybe not lose control of the lid um, it, because when it, when it pops off, sun, suddenly it's, it sometimes wants to spin out of control. And again, I'm just trimming like I did before, trimming the 
edge of the flange, the inside edge of the lid to get it all tidy looking. And this is, it's a back and forth now. So, you know, do a little cleaning, a little trimming, a little cleaning, a little trimming. And here I'm just, you know, tweaking this a little bit more, you know, and just remember, you always need to have a, a bottom that is of the correct size to help support that lid. Um, so like here, you know, it's coming back in and the lid fits right down into that. Um, and it's almost magical how, you know, when you make the indentation in the right spot that your lids are going to fit. Now make sure that you're always throwing really centered. If you guys aren't centering well when you're trying to do this, you're not going to have that much success. Um, you, a wonky pot makes it really hard. So just try to get it as centered and precise as you possibly can. So here, just using, you know, a little trimming, a little rib to make sure that it's looking really, really good. And uh, tidying it up, you know, with a little kidney rib there again. And that one looks really good because, again, it's aligned on the outside. Now, this is the one that I threw where it's way off. So look at that angle. See how that sweeps down over the shoulder? It's totally the wrong angle. As soon as I trim that, the lid's going to not have the support that it needs um, to, you know, stay without falling in. So here we go. The, again, this one, it's showing it's just too wide. So this is as I cut it off here and I go to trim it. You will find that it's just going to fall right through. So learn from my mistakes. Um, you know, I figure if I can save someone from doing the same thing, that'll be good. I just wasn't thinking when I threw that one with it being so wide. And you can see it's barely fitting. And as I tidy up the inside of that edge, now we're, we're in, in, you know, it, we had something not even workable. And here are my examples, including my little toothpick holder. So hope you enjoyed it. And uh, drop me any questions you have below. And don't forget to hit subscribe.